can't get there. Golbich again with the sneaky drop shot. 30, 40. Too good. And she does. A line liquor to finish it off. Simona Halep, quest for her 12th career hard court title, is still alive. And she still has a chance to win her first title in Australia as well. What a showdown. What a matchup. It wasn't pretty at times. But there was certainly some solid shot making there. Simona Halep, number two seed, into the semis. 6-2. 5-7, and a third set score, as you saw it. What an entertaining matchup that was from Simona Halep. That 6-4 third set. Some points that we'll be talking about for a couple of days. There was some really good tennis there. Victoria Golovich really deserved better than that she, she played really well she had a chance all the way through that third set just some crucial points that she wasn't able to convert she won't be happy with the way she served at times a few unforced errors along the way but that backhand was top drawer today unfortunately just comes up a little bit short a three hour affair to Simona Halep and she'll be happy to Advance. That was a lot of work. It looked like it was going to be a lot faster than that. She had that 6-2 first set win, and then she was up 3-1, a break in the second. And then Golovich, good job coming back. So we'll go down to courtside and hear from Jill Kravis as she talks to the winner, Simona Halep, off to the semifinals in Melbourne. Simona, <laughs> congratulations into the semifinals. What an unbelievably tough battle that was. What do you feel like you're most proud of in that match today? Well, it was really difficult, I have to admit. Uh, I didn't really trust that I can win this match, but uh, I fought till the end and uh, I'm very proud of this because uh, in the past I was working a lot on this, uh, on this, yeah, on this way. And um, yeah, she played unbelievable. She was fighting till the end and uh, all the credit to her for this beautiful match. I'm really happy that I could be a little bit stronger in the end and winning this match it means a lot i mean you mentioned how strong you were we saw a lot of emotion with you at the end especially throwing your arms up in the air to me one of the biggest assets is how you handle those pressure moments so well what do you say to yourself in those moments well i felt like nothing uh, was working today my serve was shit and uh, you know it's <laughs> yeah i have to say that sorry for the words but we love the it really was <laughs> Um, I fought with myself a lot today. Uh, it was a bit difficult to, you know, to control my emotions. But uh, she put me in this situation. She put pressure on myself, and it was really tough to deal with. But um, yeah, if uh, you want to win, you don't have to give up. So I did this today, and I'm really happy about it. And yeah. And just talking about these, this event in particular leading up to the Australian Open, to having the opportunity to be able to play an event like this and in Rod Laver Arena, how, how does that help you, do you feel like, moving forward into the AO? Well, it's amazing that we have the chance to play a few matches here on this beautiful court, but I'm not top 10 anymore, so I don't believe I will play here. Uh, the first matches of Australian Open, but uh, I'm really happy that I have the chance to get used to these courts, to this atmosphere. It's always nice to be back here. Like I said before, uh, Australia has a part of my heart because I had a great coach for a few years. And uh, it's, uh, it's nice to be back here and to be actually fit. Even if I didn't play my best tennis today, it's really good that I could win. Well, we love watching you fight so hard. Congratulations again and best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. A little bit of humor from Simona Halep on court. Apologies for the words, but I can understand what she was thinking because there were times in that match where her serve wasn't up to her normal standards, but she got it done, battled through two hours and 35 minutes, and she's into the semifinals and still has a chance to 
win her first career title in Australia. And you see the numbers, the double faults, there were a lot of them. Saw some winners, some great shot making from both players. The Goldrich backhand was outstanding. Simona Howe moving around the court nicely. See the M4 